Okay, this is so if you do not have push to talk enabled correctly. If you look up there, you'll see a microphone, a headset, a red dot, a yellow box with a C in it, and to the right of that, there is an icon there. You, that's the icon you're going to want to click on. Now, when you click on that icon, it's going to bring you to another page, and the top left of that page audio input is automatically going to be selected highlighted now you'll see mine says push to talk to the right of that there's a arrow that gives you a drop down menu yours will probably say voice activity or continuous but you want to click on that arrow to the right it'll bring a drop down menu click on the push to talk then go down and hit apply and ok now this may bring you back to the regular mumble page you started, so you'll have to hit that same icon to the right of the yellow C um, to get back to there. Now you'll notice the third one on the left down is shortcuts. It is That's the one you want to click on. The bottom of the page to the right of that, the white blank page, it says add at the bottom. You will click add. Okay. Now you'll notice under functions it says unassigned. And to the right of that, on the same bar, is shortcuts. Underneath the shortcuts there, in that little grade bar, you want to click there. And it will give you the option to add a key to your keyboard to push to talk. So it's, I think it will say assign key. You want to go there and you want to click a key that you want to assign to this. Okay. Now, you don't want to use a key that you do not use that often. A lot of us are using the right um, control key. So if you hit the right control key, that will bring you up there. Now, see, you can see I've highlighted and I've selected the right control key. Now, you want to move over to where it says unassigned, right to the left of that. And you're going to want to click on unassigned. Now, what that's going to do is bring you another drop down menu. And in that drop down menu, one of your selections will be push to talk. So you want to click on that. And after you've clicked on that, it should look like this. It should say push to talk, the right control key or whatever key you selected. And then you're going to want to go to the bottom of the page and you're going to hit apply and OK. And once you do this, your push to talk should be ready. Now this is a short video of me doing it in real time. I know it's not clear, but you'll see I hit that. There's where I go to the push to talk menu, bring it down, click on push to talk. I hit apply and OK. Brings me back to that page. Now I hit that icon again. I will move down to shortcuts. Now I will hit add. And you'll see it brings that up. Now I'll go over here underneath of the shortcut and I'll it'll say to add. I'll hit the right control key. That puts my right control key there. I'll go over to unassigned, go down the drop down menu, hit push to talk. And then I will go down and hit apply 